Chris posed this question to me a little bit ago and said, how do I synchronize my audio with my video? And one of my recommendations is, you know, that you record your audio separately and then you record your screen separate from that. And the reason for that is that if you make a mistake in one, it doesn't affect the other. So what I've done here is I'm using Camtasia for Mac, but everything I'll show you here will work in the PC version as well. So the first thing I always do is I make the edits to my audio and then I bring in my video to try and sync it up. Now to synchronize, uh, there are two things that we need to do. Number one, we either need to slow things down or number two, we need to speed things up. So for example, in this little stretch, my mouse is moving up to the top and it opens up a menu and I don't want it to happen at that point. So I'm gonna bring it back to where it stops right about there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause time for a little bit and I'm just going to make this frame last much longer. To do that, I'm going to first select the clip. So this is the recording, so click the recording. And then I'm going to do a split, which is the S key in Windows or Command T on the Mac. And then I'm gonna drag this out to where I want it to pick back up. So I want it to start moving again right here in this little audio break. Now in this gap, I said I wanted to freeze that frame. And what I'll do is I'll hold down the Alt key or the Option key for Mac, and I'll drag this to the right. And you can see that it's just that one frame. It just stays there. That mouse cursor doesn't move. And then when I get to this point, the cursor moves up and perfect. It goes up to that menu. So that's number one. That's how we freeze time. The other thing we need to do is we need to speed up time. So to do that, I'll find where I want things to speed up. So all of this looks good. It is not until I get to this point right here. So in my video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select where I want it to start and stop going quickly. All right, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select that clip. I will hit uh, Command T or the S key to split. And then it goes and does its thing. And then right here is where I want it to stop. So I'll do another split, Command T. And this is the part that I want to speed up. Now I'm gonna right click here and I'm going to add clip speed. And when I add clip speed, I get these little stopwatch items, icons here at the bottom. And I know that I want all of this stuff to happen in a short amount of time. Now, um, I wanna do the same thing here. I know I wanna add some clip speed here because this piece needs to shorten up to about here. And then this piece needs to shorten up much faster. It needs to go down to here. So I don't know how long this time is. I just know that these actions need to happen within this amount of time. This is what I'm talking about this part. And then similarly, what took you know much longer, I needed to squeeze into this short period. So now when I play this part, it goes through and yes, the mouse moves kind of fast and that's okay. But now everything is synchronized to where I want it to be.